You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. This uh, topic today, we're gonna discuss what they're doing for women and for men. And with us, we have the founder and CEO of WellCore. Uh, Jason Whitson, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Randy. Now, I've got lots of questions, but we'll start first for people that don't know WellCore. Like, who's the typical patient that you see that comes in for hormone optimization, as you call it? Yeah, so most of our patients are going to be men or women over the age of 40 or 45 okay. that have started to feel the effects of what we all call aging. All right. So you've started to slow down a little bit. Maybe you're tired, you're not sleeping as well, and you've just kind of lost a step. And by the time they get to that point, they start seeking solutions and they find us. Okay, now WellCore is, is uh, I, mean, I mean, you guys have a unique model, right? And not only, and I'm not trying to side with you, people need to know, but, but, but you know, I've done some research. I mean, you are a little bit less expensive or a lot less expensive than what I've seen. And you have a different model where you don't have to actually go to the office. Right. It's like telemedicine. Is that, yeah. is that right? It's 100% virtual. So everything we do, although it starts with blood, we have to do blood collection for men. You're doing at home self-administration of testosterone for the ladies. You're doing the same thing with creams or pills, uh, or even a revolutionary product we have is a, a pellet. Um, what sets us apart from everybody else is that it's hundred percent at home, but it's also practically painless. People don't like having a needle put in their arms at the lab. They don't even like having to drive to a lab. So we actually have a device that allows us to collect whole blood from your arm and you're probably not even going to feel it. Okay, now you're not new to telemedicine, right? I'm calling it telemedicine. That's where you get on a Zoom call, right? Is, are these like HIPAA compliant? Uh, yeah, HIPAA compliant? compliant Zoom. Okay, so they're on a Zoom call and they meet with a medical doctor, a nurse, a nurse practitioner, uh, physician's assistant. Who, who are they meeting with? Right, so our clinical team is comprised of MDs and DOs. Uh, we also have nurse practitioners and physician's assistants. Uh, we're also going to assign a client success manager to you because unlike typical healthcare today, we want to make sure that our team is available to you whenever you want to talk to them. So there's no phone number in talking to a receptionist and leaving a message and hoping that you talk to a member of our team. But when you're talking to one of our clinicians, it's from the comfort of your own home or your office, wherever you want to be. And yeah, we do use Zoom, which has become a household name here in the past two or three years. Now you've done other, uh, you've worked with other like telemedicine type of uh, organizations. You wanted this, and I'm paraphrasing you slightly, but you wanted this to be kind of high end or VIP without the high price. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, so I've been involved in building virtual care platforms or telemedicine platforms. Okay. But our customers were doctors and clinicians and clinics. Uh, but being in healthcare for as long as I've been, I've done a lot with athletic performance and human performance. Um, I also grew up without access to healthcare, or I should say health insurance. All right, all right. Consuming it was really difficult. I always knew that you know, from a very young age that if you had to go to the doctor, it was kind of a, a pain, like it's a journey. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to make it super convenient, but we also wanted to make it, considering how much money you spend on healthcare, we wanted to make it a really high end experience. So whether it's you're looking at our website or you're looking at our advertising or you're talking to our clinicians or using our devices. Randy, we even have packaging that if you end up on protocol that shows up at your house that you're gonna think was designed by Neiman Marcus or Apple. Is that right? Now, now the pricing, if you don't mind me talking about it, I mean, you have like a $99 to get started. It's uh, about 200, or, or it is two, about $225 a month. And that Correct. includes pretty much everything you do. Yes. With 20, is it five day a week access to medical doctors online? You're gonna have email addresses, phone numbers, and numbers you can use to SMS the clinical team whenever you want. So if you're a fan of text, we'll be there for you. But to your point, it's $99, $99 to get started. That's our assessment kit. Okay. That's the kit that will show up at your house that has the painless blood collection device, all the shipping's included, it even includes the consultation with a member of the clinical team. So you're gonna get all the way to the point of making a determination if HRT is right for you. And to your point, if you end up on protocol, it is $225 a month, but it's billed quarterly. We're not the most expensive, but we're not the cheapest. Okay, are, are you able to cut the cost because no office visits? It's all based on this online model? It has something to do with it, but okay. I mean, Look around. We live in a 
instant gratification society. Like everything is brought to our home. You don't really have to leave the house to get anything done these days. And healthcare, in our opinion, shouldn't be any different. If we make it easier to consume and we make it an amazing experience, we want people to seek out clinical medical guidance more frequently to create a healthier human population. Okay, now as a CEO, you, you were bragging a little bit when we talked on the phone about the doctors, that you've kind of, uh, again, I'm paraphrasing slightly, but that you have uh, kind of put together a team, like the dream team of physicians that care and that are competent. Because you say this isn't that easy right. to do. Is so hormone replacement therapy is, in our opinion, a specialty. Okay. You have to learn how to do it, you have to practice it, and you have to stay up to date on research and studies. Otherwise, you shouldn't be doing it. Okay. The joke that I like to make is if you're going to break your leg, are you going to call a cardiologist? All right. And the answer is probably no. You should seek out someone that is a specialist with what you need help with. So yeah, we started with building a core clinical team that has been doing this for years and operates their own clinics in our hometown of Austin, Texas. From there, we seek out and recruit, uh, recruit uh, other clinicians that can be trained in what we call the WellCore way. Now I'm about to interview uh, Dr. D, one of your uh, medical doctors that, that work with you. He's our and, chief medical officer. And he's in studio. He this guy is fit. He's got, bi he's lean and right. mean. And uh, it's nice to see, I mean, you guys both walk your talk. Is this who you're trying to recruit also as doctors? People that are healthy people themselves? I think it's extremely helpful if they are, because okay. they truly understand the impacts of hormone optimization. But yes, Dr. D is our chief medical officer, and I've had the unfortunate experience of working out with the guy, okay. and uh, I'm usually chasing him. Yeah, you know, he doesn't look that big like in a suit, but when he, when he takes his, uh, you know, his jacket off, the guy is really, really fit. Right. And so what about you? You've been studying nutrition, uh, hormone optimization. Do you do it yourself? I got started 15 years ago uh, extenuating circumstances, okay. but I got to feel what most of us, us feel later in age earlier on in life. I actually lost the ability to walk due to a spine injury. Okay. And while trying to make my comeback, doing physical therapy, being mobile again, I realized that there were other things that were no longer working. Uh, I was depressed. I didn't have that drive anymore. Working out wasn't really an option. It wasn't something that I wanted to do. And even when I did, I just wasn't seeing the results. And after weeks of being bedridden, getting back on my feet, the rest of my body not catching up, I sought out the help of a clinician that specialized in hormone replacement therapy. And what I found out through blood work was that I had the hormone levels of someone in their mid to late 60s. Okay. And I had to ask the question, what are hormones? All the way back then. And I got educated rather quickly and I got on a protocol and within, call it three to four weeks, I started to feel like younger Jason again. And I haven't looked back. So if a man contacts you, what's the process? And what are the commonly replaced hormones you're gonna look at with him? Yeah, so everything we do has to start with your blood. Our okay. clinical team cannot advise or personalize anything for you unless they get a hold of your blood. Okay. So with guys, we have to understand what's going on with their body and specifically the sex hormone testosterone. Because right. that's what makes us what we are. Whether it's our bone density, you know, our facial hair, our deeper voices, our ability to put on lean muscle mass, Testosterone is responsible for a lot of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you an at-home blood collection kit. And we're not doing painful finger pricks or anything like that, because no one wants to do that. So we have a revolutionary device that you put on your arm. And you, you like this, this. I really uh, do. Because I told you I'm taking testosterone, right? You did. And I, you said if you switch, if you try our device, you'll never wanna poke your leg or buttocks again with right. a, a longer needle. Right. So tell yeah. me about that, sorry for interrupting. Yeah. So. Collecting your blood can be painful too. But what we do is we use a device that you put on your arm and you press a button and it's gonna collect blood from the capillaries, whole blood. And from there, our lab is gonna do the analysis okay. and that lab work is gonna find its way back to our clinical team. From there, they're going to reach out and you're gonna schedule a consultation with them just like you would with a coworker these days. On Zoom. On Zoom. Okay. So you're gonna to talk to the clinician and they're gonna tell you uh, what your lab looks like, but they're gonna understand from you how you're feeling. And they're gonna to have to understand your symptoms first. Okay. The symptoms are more important than the numbers, but together they're gonna to make a determination on whether or not hormone replacement therapy is right for you. But what you just brought up a second ago, if you do end up being a good fit for the guys, yeah. and you get on protocol, 
asking someone to do an injection at home is, it's a big ask. So we set out to solve that by partnering with a company that makes a device called the Auto Inject. It literally takes away a lot of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt about self-administration. We have some of the smallest needles that you could possibly use for this. Okay. And when you use the auto-inject device, it does all the work for you. So you can apply it to the side of your thigh, maybe the upper glute. So it just kind of stamps it in there? It really does. Like these blood glucose monitors, you just kind of, you don't feel it. Right. It pushes it's, in. Is it similar to that? It's extremely similar. Okay. There's still going to be a needle and syringe involved, but you don't have to look at it. So once they start taking testosterone, like how soon do they start feeling better or different? And what specifically are those changes? Yeah, that's the million, million dollar question, right? Yeah. So everybody's different. So people can start to feel the results in two, three, four, five weeks, sometimes six weeks. Uh, for me, it was two weeks, but we've got clients that are reporting back to us that within three to four weeks, they're seeing things like improved sleep. Uh, we've got folks that are telling us that they now have a desire to go to the gym that they didn't have before. Uh, we've got men telling us that their libido is back and it had been dormant for a while. Okay. And that's very exciting to them. So you've got your libido back, but having optimized testosterone levels in men also helps with erection quality. Okay. Uh, not to be, you know, be too funny about it, but we've had guys tell us that their wives are literally beating them off with a stick. Okay. which is completely new to them because we're, we're talking about clients that are in their late 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, we have clients that tell us when they are back at the gym, they're starting to see the results that they haven't seen in a decade. So there, it's, it's one thing to lose muscle, but to realize that you can start to get it back because it, it does get... So it's energy. I mean, for these 45-year-olds, right, 50-year-olds, drive. What about if you're 70 and 80? You know, a healthy 70, 80. Will it dramatically improve their situation, if, if it works right? Everything's relative. So you could say that this is gonna send you back to your 20s. That's probably applicable if you're 30s and 40s, but think about somebody that's in their 60s and 70s, they would probably like to feel like they felt in their late 40s or 50s again. Okay, you call it hormone optimization. Yeah. Are you trying to take a 60 or 70 year old or 80 year old man and bring him back to hormone levels, testosterone levels of a 25 year old? What are you trying to do? Yeah, so here's the thing with levels and the numbers that everybody looks at, right? Like the numbers are just indicators. Your total testosterone, your free testosterone, those are indicators to the clinical team of what's going on in your body. It's more about how you feel, right? And to say that there's like a perfect number for everybody is simply not true. So the entire male population in the United States is gauged on a set of numbers that are called normal. Okay. Normal. That comes from doctors that are doing blood tests and what the general population is seeing. That does not mean optimal. So every person is gonna have a different number that is optimal to them that makes them feel the way that they wanna feel. One of the most popular benefits of having optimized hormones, or I say popular, what we hear most from our clients is the word energy. And I think that can be defined in a bunch of different ways. We have a lot of guys that use the word drive. They just didn't want to get involved in extracurricular activities. They didn't wanna work out. And as you age, it could even get to the point where you don't want to go and do things with your kids or grandkids. You'd rather just sit on the couch. But what we're hearing from people is this is an enablement. It okay. inspired them to get off the couch, to go do something, to take up a hobby, to spend time with their kids, to go start a new business. Okay, is it the same for women? I mean, because women, you say, have testosterone levels. When you replenish or uh, give them a little bit of testosterone, do they also have these same type of effects? So with like the ladies, libido and, yeah, and yeah so with the ladies, it's not just about testosterone. That's the primary sex hormone in men. But with women, you have to take into account estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, okay. as well as non-sex hormones like thyroid and DHEA as well. But the benefits for the ladies are actually more vast than they are for the guys, because as women age, they get to what some refer to as a cliff that we call menopause. Uh, guys, it's more of a gradual change, but with the ladies, the benefits, they're the same. They're big. They're big right away. They are. So with men, I mean, so it kind of feeds the heart. I mean, it feeds muscle. Is that one of the explanations of why you may have more energy? Yeah. So cardiovascular health, uh, cardiovascular resiliency is one of the benefits of having optimized hormones. Okay. Uh, recent research and studies suggest that optimized hormones in both men and women 
can be an effective deterrent of cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer of men and women in the United States. Okay, I, I gotta ask you this question because anticipating this interview, doing some research, and even talking to my friends that it can increase the chances of maybe prostate cancer or grow cancers taking right. testosterone, both for men and women. What does your medical team have to say about this? Yeah, they're gonna be better suited to give you a detailed answer, but I'll give you one as a patient okay. who's also done his own research. So there were some studies that were done in the late 90s and early 2000s that suggested that this could increase the risk. Most of those studies have since been debunked with more recent research and more recent studies. Okay. Now, this is a bit of a generalization, uh, but things like cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease, uh, prostate cancers, uh, there are some studies that are suggesting that with optimized hormones, there is actually a reduction in the risk of those chronic conditions and diseases. Okay, okay. Back to the process again for, for women and men. Okay, so they get that at-home test. Then the doctor reviews this. The doctor talks, the medical doctor speaks to them on the Zoom meeting, obviously going over their medical history, things like that, and then they come up with a specific protocol. Right. Is, is that correct? And correct. then what happens? What are the, what's the follow-up like? Things like that. Yeah, so everything is personalized. There is no one-size-fits-all in general healthcare, but especially at Wellcore. So once you uh, wrap up that Zoom call with the clinician and you decide that you're going to start the program, uh, medications and supplies are gonna show up at your house in seven business days, maybe less. Then you get started. And you can get started. So after you get off the consult with the clinician and they make a determination that this is a good fit for you and they write the prescription, okay. 90 day supply of everything you need is gonna show up at your house in five to seven business days. But you're not done. Okay. We're not done then. We're not just gonna ship you medications and supplies and say, Randy, good luck. Uh, automatically, you're going to get another assessment kit that's gonna show up at your house before that 90 day supply is up because a clinical team needs to look at your blood again. So you're gonna retest. We're gonna retest. We have to make sure that it's having the impact that you want and that what the clinical team is expecting. So you're gonna match it. Okay, so they start feeling better and the blood work starts to look better. Correct. Okay. You're not done with the clinical team once you get off that initial consultation. Okay. You're going to get blood work done every three months for the first year. And when you get that blood work done, it means you're gonna to talk to the clinical team again because we can't just ship you uh, medications and supplies and say, Randy, good luck. We're in the hormone optimization space. We're gonna to have to talk to you every three months. We have to understand how you're feeling. The blood that we collect is going to tell us and it's gonna help inform the clinical team if the program is working for you or if it needs to be modified in any way, shape or form. And we're gonna do that every three months. For some people, is this like a miracle? Like they're going, oh my goodness, I can't believe how good I feel. Has that happened? Sometimes it seems that way. I mean, we definitely don't want to scream from the rooftops that this is some sort of panacea, but hormone optimization is something that hasn't gotten the attention that it really needs because it is a foundational element of overall health and wellness. Okay. So a lot of the stories that we are hearing, I mean, I have gotten goosebumps from reading some of the stories in all seriousness. I, you, you sent me those uh, testimonials from patients that have been through the process. They seem to be, you know, big fans. Right. Now, now, what about this? And, and we're going to talk about women, but for men, uh, losing their hair, things like that. What do you do about that? Because isn't that the problem with taking testosterone? Is you're going to lose your hair? No, that's not necessarily true for everybody. So when you're talking to one of our uh, clinicians in your initial consultation, through medical history, they're going to find out if you're predispositioned for hair loss or even skin issues like acne. The clinical team is going to figure that out when they first talk to you because you're going to tell them about your medical history. They're going to learn about your family. And if you're predispositioned for those things, we've got a couple other medications that we'll give you so that you don't have to feel those second order effects. Also, you're giving thyroid for people that have uh, problems with their thyroid. Right. So if your blood work comes back where you're thyroid deficient, okay. that is another uh, tool in the clinician's tool belt. And we can prescribe that and give that to you alongside uh, you know, testosterone if you're a male or uh, the sex hormones for the ladies. You know, we talked on the phone and, and, and I remember you saying, and, and you were very bold about this. You said, look, Randy, I want to make this clear. We are not just another low T clinic. What do you mean by that? Yeah. So we're not in the business of just prescribing sex hormones and sending you on your way and hoping that it works well for you. Uh, we're doing a comprehensive panel, which allows our clinical team to learn more about your body than just your sex hormones. 
we're doing your traditional cholesterol panel, lipid panel, liver function, even things like thyroid. Okay. So we can't just look at one single solution to treat the human being. So right. yes, you know, we're, no, we're known for hormone optimization, but if you are off when it comes to things like thyroid or DHEA for the ladies, uh, those things will be prescribed too, because it's a more holistic approach, a comprehensive approach to getting you optimized. Let's move on to the women for a moment. So with women, what are the categories of patients you see? Yeah, so typically the ladies that we're working with are what's called perimenopausal, uh, where their menstrual cycles are starting to become irregular. Okay. Uh, and then of course, uh, ladies that we call postmenopausal, where they haven't had a menstrual cycle in a year. Okay. And the symptoms that we're hearing, you know, some of the most impactful ones that bring them to us uh, are things like depression, uh, there's uh, vaginal dryness or night sweats. Uh, libido kind of goes away, uh, but what we hear more than anything is night sweats. So that goes away? Correct. Okay, and it's the same model for the men and the women. They, they meet with their medical doctor on the Zoom call. They are sent a test, you test it, and then you kind of balance. Do you call it balance? Do you call it optimizing hormones? Yeah. You wanna kind of bring their hormones to more youthful levels? Is that what's going on? We wanna bring their hormone levels to what is right for them. Okay. We don't put anyone in a box. We don't uh, assign a number that works for everybody. Everyone's unique. Uh, everything that you just described is 100% accurate. The one thing I would say is that when the ladies come to us, they are paired with one of our clinicians. It's someone who focuses on female hormone optimization. Okay, now there's a lot of women already doing this, right? They're, they're ahead of the men when it comes to hormone optimization. Right. So do you have a lot of people that are doing it the old, I'm calling it the old fashioned way, where yeah. they have to go to visit the doctor about every three months or every six months. When they hear about your model, where they get to do everything on Zoom, it seems more convenient. It and is. And it's less expensive. It is. We do have several clients that have come to us from you know, brick and mortar facilities that are doing it the old fashioned way. Uh, but they're not just doing it the old fashioned way in terms of needing you to drive to their clinic. Uh, a lot of times we find that the, the protocols, the programs that men and women are on are quite outdated. Okay, okay. So you're, so you're clinicians, I mean, they're studying hormones. I mean, this is all they do. I mean, this is their focus. I guess it's not a recognized specialty except for endocrinology, but, but you say this is all they do. I mean, this is their focus. Right. We have doctors with varying backgrounds, emergency medicine, uh, pain management, uh, endocrinology is one for sure. But this is what they are doing day in and day out. This is why we believe we're at the forefront of hormone optimization. And uh, if somebody wants to get started, do they go to the website at WellCore? Do they contact one of your centers? What do they do? Yeah, the best way to get started with WellCore is to visit the website because again, we are 100% virtual. It's one of the reasons that we've been able to maintain things like affordability. But like most things in life these days can be brought to you after visiting a website on your phone or your computer. Okay. But yeah, it's simple to get started. You just go to teamwellcore.com right. and order an assessment kit. Now, what about the women? What, what are the commonly replaced hormones uh, in addition to testosterone that you're looking at or, or giving them? Yeah, when looking to optimize the hormones for a female, we're looking at estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, okay. DHEA, and thyroid. Now we're doing almost two dozen blood tests. So we're looking at a lot more than just that. But when it comes to optimizing the hormones with women, those are the focus areas. Now we're out of time, but you knew, you know, you fly, you flew in to do this interview. What do you want people to know about WellCore? Like, like when, when you think in your head, like this is what I wanna make sure they know. I would say that I would want everyone to know that WellCore is here to do hormone optimization the right way. We wanna normalize it. We truly believe that optimized hormones in men and women is a foundational element of overall health and wellness. And in order for people to get involved with WellCore, to trust us, to become a client, we've made it extremely affordable. We've made it extremely convenient. And above all else, we've made it practically painless. So if somebody's watching and, and, and they're just tuning in and, and, they, and they wanna know more, can they call and talk to somebody about this, like a consultant that you have? We actually have what we call client success managers. Another sure. term for that is a concierge. Uh, they can call them, the phone number's on the website. Uh, we actually have a live chat that's also on the website if they have questions immediately. But I think you'll find out that we've, we've walked that tightrope of building a website that is educational and informative. 
Okay. You know, the, you, you know I've, I've been interviewing doctors on and off for 25 years on my show about bioidentical hormones. And back in the old days, it was really for kind of like the rich and the famous and the celebrities were always in on it. People that wanted to look their best, they were in on this early on. And now it's become mainstream. Uh, but, but with WellCore, I mean, you kind of have big goals. I mean, you, wanna, yeah. you, you really want to kind of own this category. Is that right? It is. And we you want to be the best of the best. I'm not putting words in your mouth. These are some of the things you told me on the phone. Right. We want to set ourselves apart. It is becoming more mainstream. People are willing to have these conversations now, which is great in our opinion. But we want to rise to the top rather quickly because we believe we're doing it the right way. And when it comes to healthcare, that's the only way to do it. We're out of time. Final message. So let's say somebody's watching this man, woman, they're 45 plus, 50 plus. They have some of the symptoms you've talked about, but they're still skeptical. They're worried about it. What do you say to them? I would say that what we're doing is the new aging gracefully. Okay. It's the closest thing we're gonna have to a time machine. If you wanna be in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, knowing everything that you know today, all of your wisdom, all of your experience, but if you want the ability to capitalize on it and use it, be there for yourself, be there for your family, be there for your business, be there for your grandkids, get your hormones optimized. All right, good. All right, well, I wanna thank you for coming to the show. Good stuff. And we're gonna interview Dr. D right after this. Uh, he's, what, what is his, what is his uh, title? Dr. D is our chief medical officer. Okay, yeah, I talked to him on the phone. He's not only in shape, but he is uh, really good at explaining this. He's a student of these medical treatments. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good stuff. Thanks, Wellcore, Randy. right? Wellcore. That's the name to remember. It is. You, I mean, is that your goal? I mean, you want to be the go-to place for hormone optimization? We want to normalize hormone optimization. Doing it professionally. Doing it HIPAA professionally. Compliant, online, Zoom meetings. Yep. Inexpensive. All right, good. I want to thanks again. Good, thanks, Randy. Good stuff. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health.